welcome back to another review on Fruits. Okay, light, tropical, smooth, gem, juicy, crushable, bright, bitter, devilishly good. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Reviews on Brews with my special guest tonight, my wife, Sopa. Hi. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Happy belated Mother's Day to all y'all watching. Um, hope y'all had a good weekend. Uh, obviously, it's Sunday night for us, but who knows when you're watching this. Maybe it could be 2025 for all I know. Or maybe Ella's watching this and you're 21 right now. Crazy, huh? Um, well, I'm trying to get my wife more into craft beer, and but it's a steep hill to climb. So in efforts to do that, because she likes more of like sweet stuff, you really like more of like, what kind of beer so far? Like the Lambics. I'm glad you remember that. That's pretty good. Yeah, Lambics, uh, more of like the fruity beers. So I hit up... 450 North San Diego, shout out to you. Um, and I picked up a couple beers for her to try. Um, one or two we tried over this past week, but now we're doing this review. And it's the first ever trying of this brewery for both of us. I'll give you that one. So this is Liquid Lollipop from Froth Brewing. These peoples are in Buffalo, New York. So take a look at that can. Nice like lollipop, liquid lollipop. And I'm holding the, this is liquid lollipop, like I said, this is a triple fruited sour ale, and mine is mango, sweet cherry, and dragon fruit. Which one do you have? The triple fruited sour ale, pineapple, guava, and prickly pear. And both of these are sitting at 6.5% alcohol. I'm not a huge guava person, so I'm, I say we start with that one, plus it's prickly pear, which you really like. Um, this is a fruited sour, so there might be, and it's from New York, so there might be a little bit of like uh, settlement in the bottom. So just, oh dog, if you would have knocked over my light. <laughs> so I'm just going to do a little bit of can rolling. You could do on the table. You can do the old back and forth. It's Why do you do that? Um, so because this is triple fruited and there's like going to be a lot of like fruit puree, then it kind of can settle at the bottom. So remember the other night where I poured the one first after I thought it was gonna, I mixed it and it was like two different looks to it. Yeah, that's why you have to roll these cans. Um, sorry for my dogs in the background. Ooh, that looks like an interesting color. Ladies first. Mm, it's like a peach color. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of papaya. So again, this is froth, liquid lollipop, pineapple, guava, and prickly pear. Gotta getting that. Yeah. Dig the glasses again. Life's too short for bad beer. I smell guava. Oh yeah. It's pretty strong on the guava. Which I'm kind of nervous for because I'm not a huge guava fan. I know you like guava. Um, so I'm hoping I get more of the pineapple and prickly pear, but we shall see. Any other fruits you're picking up on, or is it guava? It's mainly guava. Yeah, I think there's a little bit of pineapple, but it's pretty heavy on the guava. All right, cheers. Hmm. Ooh, okay. Yeah, it's like, there's like guava puree in there or something. Yeah, so I, it's a nice medley up front. The, like, it's really hard to kind of distinguish them right away. Uh, and then it comes into a little bit of like sweet pineapple. And then the guava rolls in again for me. And then again, it switches back to like that flavor of after you eat like a whole pineapple. And then the prickly pear just finishes it off with like a nice little bit of sweetness, but then it's the aftertaste of eating like a ton of pineapple. Mm. 
I'm okay with this. I taste like guava and prickly pear puree. You don't not, get much pineapple? Not much of the pineapple, no. It, maybe maybe the sweetness of the pineapple, like if you had a very sweet pineapple, yeah. but not like a sour pineapple. It's more of yeah. a sweet pineapple. Yeah, this is like uber sweet pineapple, like super ripe pineapple. And the guava just gives it a nice little, to me, I like guava is kind of bitter to me. So I kind of get more of like that bittering flavor from guava. Because prickly pear and pineapple are both super sweet. And that's what this comes with. You've never had a sweet guava. Oh. Guavas are amazing. I can't believe he doesn't like guava. To each their own. <laughs> Pass, fail, A, B, C, D. What do you give this one? I don't really, I mean, mine's usually good or uh, but. I drink this again. Yeah. It's usually, I don't like beer. <laughs> but this is pretty good. Yeah. It's very yeah. fruity. It's super fruity. It's, I mean, liquid lollipop, it's very fruity, very lollipop. Um, and yeah, the guava is a perfect area for me. Like, not an area. The guava is a perfect balance. It's well balanced within this beer, so I, I enjoy it. Because there's some guava beers that I've had, and I would just be like, <laughs> I feel like this is very heavy, though. Heavy? No. Well, not in like alcohol. Like heavy in fruit. Like this feels yeah. heavy compared yeah. to a regular beer. <laughs> I, yeah, I can. I, I get what you mean. It's definitely like, I'm not gonna lie, like, probably a pint or so is what I'm happy with. Maybe half a pint for a sour. Um, yeah, like I, a half pour. It's not a huge. I feel like I'd get full off of this. Like I'm eating like 20 pieces of fruit. <laughs> <laughs> get your fruits and vegetables every day, y'all. <laughs> Drink a can of froth. <laughs> <laughs> Seven servings of fruits and vegetables in every can. That's not true whatsoever. Sorry, froth. Yeah, don't listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> froth, like you're going to get us sued by some health company. Stop it. You can see the difference between I'm me drinking. <laughs> I'm starting to get a little more of like the bitterness at the end. It wasn't bitter before, but I don't know. Maybe as it settles, it gets a little A little bitter. bit more of the tartness. Bitter or tart? No, it's not it's sour. It's like kind of bitter. Bitter? I still say it's the guava. The prickly pear is pricking you. Yeah, it's like thick, thick water. <laughs> That's uh, another story, thick water. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, honestly, just look at the remnants on the glass. It's it's pretty thick. It's got some it's got some puree and some pulp to it, Ooh. almost. This reminds me of Disneyland. Look at that. Look at that lollipop that you can find at Disneyland in all those shops. You can. All right. Gonna let Sopa finish this one, and then we will be right back with the second one. <laughs> so next up, we have another iteration of Liquid Lollipop. Uh, like I said, this one is Mango, Sweet Cherry, and Dragon Fruit. It says flip. I just, I just realized that it does say flip and roll before drinking. So flip, 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 flip. Huh, I was gonna tell you that. And roll, 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 roll. They see me rolling the can, and they wanna see what's in the side of it. Yeah. Terrible. Sorry, chameleon. All right. Ooh, this one's a little more lively. Mm, look at that color. Ooh, I can smell that. Ooh, that one's. That one got a lot of head. Ooh, wait. <laughs> I smell mango. Yeah, it's very like like ripe mango. Ooh, whoa. Throw that down there. Mm. Yeah, that's like a fresh mango cart for reals. Ooh. Yeah, that mango smell is like 
overwhelming in a good way. Hmm. We'll leave some for Mark. That smells good. It smells like if you just cut into a bunch of ripe born of uh, <laughs> ripe mangoes. And as you can see, this thing is like it's it's going. It's still it's alive. Oh. Mm, I think Mark will like this. He yeah. loves mangoes. Here. Mango. Wait, wait, cheers. Oh yeah, cheers. Wait, smell it first and smell then it. cheers. Mango. It's a little harder out of the can, but Mango. Still. Mango. Cheers. Cheers. Yo, that is thick. It's like a mango smoothie. For some reason... ASMR by Mark. For some reason, it tastes kind of like ripe papaya as well. Hmm. Maybe that's like the mix of like the cherry and dragon fruit. Kind of give it a papaya. I, I taste the cherry, not the dragon fruit. But dragon fruit, really, it's... Not a strong taste either. Mm. It has like fresh mango and then a little bit of sweet cherry with just like a small aftertaste of like dragon fruit. But mango is like the main star in this film. It looks like a Bloody Mary. Huh. I think I like the other one better. But yeah, like this, this has a, this has a strong mouthfeel. It's like, it, it's heavy. Like I feel like this one's heavier than the last one. Yeah, this one's more, definitely more heavier. Like if I drank this, I'd be full off of this. Oh, I mean, like I said, like we said, it smelled like a fresh mango cart. <laughs> That's gonna be, that have to be like a segment now. Sopa weighs it. <laughs> <laughs> It's tart. A little. Well, it's, I think that's from the cherry. More tart than the other one. Yeah. I mean, but as you can see, there's still like a little bit of like, um, like pulp or like puree on the cup, but not as much as the last one. Did you get this one again? This one, I think it's like once in a while. I want to drink it daily. Yeah. It's heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. I feel like I just drank an alcoholic version of the Red Machine from Naked. <laughs> you know what? That's actually a really good flavor profile almost. That kind of does taste like Red Machine. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I prefer the guava over the mango one. I would, I would say the same, yeah. I definitely prefer the guava, which surprises me. I really thought the mango uh, would be a standout here, but I uh, yeah, I also prefer the guava one. And with that, we're gonna have to close up shop because we're parents and we got stuff to do. Um, but thank you for tuning into this episode. Make sure to subscribe, hit that follow, hit that like. It's behind you. That way. My lovely assistant for today. <laughs> um, and hope to see you on the next one. Cheers one last time. See y'all.